I was seven years old uh, when Anna was born. Uh, when Anna was born, she was my real-life baby doll. I thought she was mine. I dressed her up. I fed her. took care of her. And as, as she's grown and as we've both grown into adults, I really look up to just how graceful Anna is. And one of the things I admire most is just her faith. When she brought Jonathan home, you know, it was easy. And he just fit right into the family. There was a moment when Jonathan, you and Dad, and my husband, John, and Ryan were playing cornhole and throwing Frisbee. I knew then that you would be my brother. <laughs> We're just so proud of you both. And we just will continue to pray that marriage will bring you all the blessings that you deserve. I love you so much. You learn a lot about someone when you live with them for three years. One of my favorite things I learned about John when living with him is that he will try to make everything meaningful and sentimental. Sometimes it's great, but other times it's, it, it's a little too much. Once we were eating burgers at Grindhouse, we got stuck under the tin roof during a major hailstorm, and Jonathan went on and on for the next 45 minutes describing the experience as incredible and surreal. It was not surreal. It was just very loud. But one experience I got to share with John was when I got to travel to Italy on a pilgrimage with him. If I had to pick a favorite moment from that trip, it would be when we went into a church, and after we walked through this little doorway off to the side, it opened up to a big room filled with paintings of St. Pope John Paul II. It was incredible to see so many paintings of a man that we looked up to, and it made it even more special that I shared this moment with my best friend. I would consider that surreal. John, I wish you and Anna a lifetime of happiness and blessing. You've been like a brother to me, and I'm so happy that your family is growing. <laughs> oh my God, you're so beautiful. So when I was thinking about what story I should tell for this speech, I thought of the moment when I first saw Anna and Jonathan within 10 feet proximity. Anna was driving me home from a Bible study. She was my carpool buddy. We were in the car and we were talking and the conversation was so good that it actually went until two in the morning and she gets ready to start her car and it's totally dead. But she just has this really calm look on her face and she says, it's okay. There's this cute guy at the Catholic Center <laughs> and he's really good at fixing cars. <laughs> I was like, yeah, right, no one's going to answer their phone right now, but I was wrong. In about 10 minutes, Jonathan was there. I just remember looking at the two of them together and seeing him work and seeing her thank him and ask him questions and just, I'm not going to say I called it, but <laughs> I was like, something's happening here. But the reason I wanted to share that story is because I think it shows that Anna is a faithful and selfless and hopeful friend, that she was there for me through that whole night that Jonathan is a faithful and selfless and hopeful guy who is there for Anna that night and continues to be there for Anna. But I, uh, I just wanted to get started and, and really talk about Jonathan and I's friendship. Throughout uh, high school, we spent a lot of time in youth group together, our life team program at uh, St. Michael the Archangel. But I do remember the one clear moment when our friendship was cemented. This was uh, actually the first day of our freshman year of college. My very first day, I got to campus way too early. I got lost and uh, wandering around campus, very lonesome, you know, don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I have no friends. And then out of nowhere, Jonathan pops up. He invited me to uh, the Kennesaw State University Catholic Center because he was already so cool and, and felt so comfortable in everything he was doing. Jonathan, when I, when I think of him and his character, he's, he's such a hard worker. And he's, he's worked his butt off to get to where he is today and to his relationship with Anna. It's been an honor to, to be with them on this journey. Uh, they've been through so much and they've been an incredible friend to me. He's so willing to, to really go deep. Um, he's not afraid to be vulnerable and he's a really incredible friend.
understand I'm forever here to hold your hand I'm forever here, right by your side.